Hi there, crafty peeps. Enos here from Paper Crafting with Enos, and I'm on today with a Craft With Me project sponsored by BB Craft. And as many of you know, I am a BB Craft YouTube collaborator, and as part of that collaboration, BB Craft does supply me with craft supplies in exchange for project videos that they can share on their website. So anyway, today we're going to be making a bee-themed charm bracelet. And if any of you remember my previous video where I did my BB Craft unboxing, all the projects I'm making from this collaboration package are all going to be bee themed. So today we're making a bracelet. So let me show you the charms that I'm going to use today. These are from BB Craft, except for these honeycombs here. Those are from my stash. We are not going to be using these larger charms. We're going to use the small ones. They have bees in three different styles. And I'm not sure I'm going to use this bee. I may, I may not. I'm not positive yet. They have three different floral styles here. And then, like I said, I added in a couple honeycombs from my stash. I don't know how many of these I'm going to be using, but those are the charms. I am using some pumpkin pre-wrapped beads that I got from Timu. And they come in a package like this. I've selected the baby pink ones and the lemon yellow beads. I'm using some gold jump rings from my stash. I'm using my needle nose pliers and my bent nose needle nose. And I'm using a length of chain here that is about eight inches long. And I've already attached to it a small lobster claw clasp. So those are the products we're gonna to use today. And I'm just gonna move a few things aside, including this. And I did open up some jump rings already, so I'm going, to, I'm going to use those. Okay. Now, let's talk about the chain for a moment. So the reason why I'm using an 8-inch piece of chain, I know that an 8-inch bracelet is way too big for many people. But there are people that need an 8-inch chain. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to make this bracelet so that it has a piece of chain that hangs off. Let me do it down here like this. Okay, so that a smaller wrist can fit it or you can do it longer like that for a wider wrist, okay? So what I'm gonna do, so I know where to stop putting my charms on, I'm gonna take my ruler and I think most people have a wrist that's about six, six and a half to eight inches. So I'm gonna take one of my jump rings, grab one up here, and I'm going to put the jump ring at about six and a half inches on the chain. And the reason I'm gonna do that is so that I know that's a stopper for putting my charms on. So when I hit that, I know I'm done putting charms on my bracelet. So let me just get that on here. And by the way, I'm only gonna put a few charms on here at regular speed on the video. Because once you see somebody put a couple charms on, you you know what, what's going on, okay? And then I'm going to speed the video up until we get near the end. So there is my chain with my extra little jump ring on it right there. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to get it so it lays so you can see it. Okay, can you see that little jump ring right there? Okay, so we don't need the ruler any longer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting my charms and beads on, skipping the first loop just so there's extra room for when you wanna close up your clasp, okay? So I'm giving a little extra room, and I'm gonna put a charm and a bead on every other link. All right, so I think I'm gonna start out with one of my pink beads. So I'm grabbing up one of my jump rings, and let me just zoom this in a little bit more. Okay, there you go. So here's one of my jump rings. I am going to, uh, let's see, I think I'll start with the pink beads. So I'm just gonna loop that on there and select the second link on the chain, loop it through and close it up with my pliers. You're gonna wanna make sure that these are nice and tightly closed. You don't want anything falling off, okay? So there is the first bead. All right, 
So I think the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to take this small flower charm here. Okay, so I'm going to take another one of my opened up jump rings. I'm going to loop on my charm. Now here's the thing about putting your charms and your beads on. You want them all to be facing the right direction on the right side of your chain. So I'm going to give you a close up here. You see how the chain has the loop for the bead facing me. Okay, so that's how I need this charm to hang. So I want to be facing me in the, like I said, I'm skipping one loop and I'm just going to hook that on. And you want to make sure that charm is facing you because otherwise when your bracelet's on, you're going to have things facing in all different directions and you may not like that very much. So let me get that one closed up. And I will give you a look here. So there you go. You see how they're both on the same side and they're both facing towards me, okay? So let's see, what should we put on next? Um, let's put on, let's put on one of our bees. I'm gonna use one of the larger bees this time. Or do I want a bead? See, that's the thing. How do you wanna decorate or design your bracelet? Do I want a bee on there next? No, I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use one of the yellow beads. Okay, so I'm just grabbing up my junk ring, scooping up the loop there, okay? And once again, you wanna make sure you're on the right side of the chain, the side that's facing you. Okay, can you see that there? And you just wanna loop your bead on there with your jump ring, okay? And for some reason, that's not going right. I don't think I had the jump ring in my pliers correctly. There we go. All right, and then we're just going to close that up. Making sure it's good and closed. And I'll show you my bracelet. making sure they're all on the same side. Good thing I don't make jewelry for a living. <laughs> all right, so that looks really pretty. I like that. So I think the next one I'm gonna put on is this large B. So I'm going to get my jump ring, loop on my B. Okay making sure that you skip one link and you put the next charm facing you. See how I have this one facing me? And I'm just gonna hook that on there. There we go. And close it up. making sure it's good and tight. And so far, here's my charm bracelet. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I am going to speed the camera up a little bit, continue putting my charms on here, and I would really, really appreciate it if everybody sticks with it to the very end. I want everyone to see my completed project and who knows, wink, wink, you might be able to win this bracelet. So keep watching and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, crafty peeps, we are at the point where I can only put one more item on and I think I'm gonna put on another pink bead because we are right at the point of that jump ring that I put on there as my marker. So let's just get this last little bead on here. This will be the last one. And there is some randomness to the way I'm putting these on here. I don't have a specific pattern, but yet there is a little bit of a pattern. Let's see, is that one closing? There we go. All right. Now, there is that random little link on there, so I am going to take that one off. Because we don't need that. 
Okay, so that's an extra. And I'll give you a look at my little bracelet here. This is a super fast and easy project. Yeah, so here is my absolutely adorable bee-themed bracelet. I think it's really, really cute. I'm going to zoom the screen back out so you can get a better look. Look at how cute that is with all the little goodies on there. Yes, thank you very much, BB Craft, for the gorgeous bee-themed charms that I have on there. So if you're interested in winning this really cute bracelet, what you need to do is leave a comment down below that says, I'm just buzzing by. You need to be a subscriber to my channel, 18 years or older, a U.S. resident. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm glad you stuck to the end. I really appreciate all of you. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell so you get notified of all my future videos. And that way you won't miss out on any of my crafty fun. So with that, I will catch you all later. And don't forget, I'm just buzzing by. <laughs> See you later, crafty peeps. Bye.